guy. Um, um, Steven are Tyler's we still operation in Mud Club. We're going to be on having hook? Gerald Morgan in here with us. Have we gone through a ton? It is going to be ton trap? Huge. And coming um, up next segment, they had an amazing Alex Jones from InfoWars. This is on YouTube. He's announced this big thing that he's doing with Steve Crowder, and they're going to have this channel through, he's going to join with him through Rumble, and, and his stuff, um, just think his videos are banned or come, didn't he got sued? He's been, <laughs> he owes a couple of hundred billion dollars or something for defamation or whatever it is. And I can't understand how this can be. And then you think, it's not just this. Is that London real? Everywhere London real. Again, Alex Jones. Infowars. I had to download the band.com, band video, the app onto my phone to be able to watch all this stuff. What, what, what the hell? I had YouTube channels taken down because of Alex Jones' voice was on it. I don't understand. This guy from London Real, he's a finance guy. I've been watching him for a few years. And then all of a sudden I've seen that he's started to come across um, showing all of Infowars videos. Yeah, obviously he's trying to make some money. He's got 2.6 million channels. Um, I'll get out of it. He had 2.24 million subscribers. And of course, now, how can, I, don't, I just don't understand, you know, Alex Jones has been banned off everything, how can his channel, under a different name, be under London Real, and now it's going to be coming through um, that, other, that other dude, Stephen Crowder, I just don't understand, you know, like, this is amazing, and I think it's wonderful news, because I actually saw um, on here, on London Real, they actually showed the, the Kiwi guys, um, the counterspin, um, you know, who, who got sued because they, um, they posted all the videos of the, the woman in New Zealand whose little boy, um, the newborn baby that, um, they want, they, they needed a blood transfer and they said, well, it's got to be vaccinated. And no, she wanted, she wanted unvaccinated blood for the baby and her and her husband went through hell, um, counter spin and they both got sued or um you know over it taken to court um yeah and i just can't understand how can this be has anybody got any idea as how this is all happening because this is doing my head in i think it's great news and absolutely fantastic but i just don't understand how this can be are we in reality land are we in reality land this is alex jones you know i used to have to go to band.com to see his stuff i just don't understand but anyway Oh, it's good news. But anyway, take care. Godspeed to all. Godspeed. Well, I can't believe it. This just keeps getting more and more insane. Um, it, there's a, another guy that I um, quite often um, watch. Um, he's a true crime guy. He's um, an English guy. He um, got um, arrested and spent quite a bit of time in jail in the US. Um, so he, he, he sort of... Um, He's not a, a good guy, but he's not a bad guy. He did drugs. Um, he was trafficking drugs, I think, um, which is not very good. But, you know, hey, it could have been worse. Could have been humans. Or it could have been part of the New World Order. But anyway, and now, and to find out... Will it go back? How far will it go? So they reached out and said, hey, uh, come on some of our uh, interviews. And I said, yeah, I'd be glad to. So they reached out and said, hey, we'd love to talk to Alex. So I put that out there. You doing that air? They said a couple of weeks from now. Something uh, to hire. Oh, it was wild. It, it uh, exceeded my expectations. Uh, I, I wanted both you guys to get together and kind of cut loose, and uh, you did. You guys went nuts. How did you get hooked up with that guy? Uh, I think I did. I, well, going on Sean Atwood's podcast, he does a lot of true crime stuff, and I think Sammy and his people saw those interviews that we did about Vatican corruption. Uh, about the history of the mafia, organized crime, and the intelligence agencies, and so they reached out and said, "Hey, uh, come on some of our uh, interviews." And I said, "Yeah, I'd be glad to." So they reached out and said, "Hey, we'd love to talk to Alex." So I put that out there. You doing that air? They said a couple weeks from now. Yeah, I think a couple weeks. Uh, they usually edit their stuff for a couple weeks, well, and then it goes up. Can you? Um, but yeah, I think you're going to have them on your show as well, right? Yeah, please. Bloody oath, hope so. All right.
this this is just getting absolutely more insane you just think you know they're they're trying to um, indict and arrest Donald Trump because they don't want him um, running for election next year um, Fauci has now um, resigned or has stood away from his position and they've got a new woman there um, the woman um, okay well she whatever the other woman um, from one of those other places um, she's resigned or has left and there's a new troll in her place um, we have Alex Jones joining forces with um, Stephen Crowder who you know um, is more a comedian than anything else you've got to remember he, he, he's a, he was a voiceover for a kid's cartoon um, that's where he got his name to claim from but you know I think he comes from a bit of money um, and he has a lot a lot a lot of fans and supporters um, and he is big money I think um, so you know um, and and then also this Sean Atwood guy and of course you have him now on with um, London Real um, which you know how, how is that is it I still can't understand this you know like they're saying all of this stuff that is is highly controversial if I put one second or one word in any of these on my channel I get a strike and I get put down. My last video I got a strike for because I made it, um, you know, a, a supposition. I put it up on Rumble, um, you know, that, uh, you know, that maybe there were things that were in some of their therapies um, that were making us not healthy anymore, that were sort of making us perhaps not um, to the best quality of life that we could be. And, um, and then I, I sort of found that a lot of medicines that they've just created um, would counteract all of these type of um, conditions and diseases that we might get. And and I, I then saw on the TGA how expensive it is and you need to take this stuff every week for the rest of your life or you'll die. Yeah. So they really are um, sending everyone through the toilet, down the rabbit hole or into blackmail land where they will actually have everybody blackmailed. I just... I'm really getting really, and this is probably the most apprehensive I've been about this thing for the whole whole COVID situation. Um, you know, I knew it was a scam at the start. I haven't taken any. Um, I'm not going to. But, you know, um, the, the fact that they're, they're poisoning our air, poisoning our water, poisoning our food, poisoning everything that we touch, and they're poisoning our hearts, poisoning our minds, and turning us against each other. And I just... I honestly, I, everyone's just fearful. Um, and oh, anyway, I'm, I'm rambling on, and um, yeah, and so they're, they're trying to get every. They're trying, and it's just wonderful that all these people are joining forces with each other. And um, what can I say about that? Yeah, hello everybody. It is me. <laughs> yes, the crazy, the crazy batshit lady. That is me. Yes. Um, yeah. So they're. Yeah, so they're they're turning everybody um, into um, they want a one world order. Well, we'll give them a one world order, and it's the world that says "fuck you, <laughs> stuff you." We don't agree. We do not consent. We do not comply. Um, no, we don't want it. Thank you. We 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 appreciate your kind and very generous offer, but we decline. Um, you know, and that that should be the way it is. But will it end up being that? I doubt it. But anyway. Um, Take care, look after yourselves, and um, yeah, just remember life is for living and um, sharing and being kind and generous and, um, you know, yeah, I have a potty mouth and, and all of that, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, if you can't stand up for yourself, then you can't stand up for anybody else. Or is it... You've got to love yourself before you can love somebody. I don't know one of those. Or you can't help anybody if you can't if you don't if you can't help yourself. You can't help anybody else because you're useless basically. And it's the same when it comes to to kindness, love, compassion. If you don't show it to yourself, then you'll never be able to show it to anybody else mm. because it won't mean anything to you. But anyway, I'm rambling and ranting. I've got to go. Take care, everybody. Godspeed to all. Godspeed. I don't know about you, but all the time with YouTube, we're getting all these bloody ads for this certain alcohol, which is this here, Wolfridge Reserve. And it keeps coming up and I'm like, this is during the day. This is not um, the right time to be 
advertising alcohol at lunchtime when, you know, kids could be watching. You know, this is, this is wrong. And then coming to his, I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check out, see who owns this company. Why are they getting all this advertising? And the last time this all happened, remember, it was all to do with, oh, Macquarie Bank, um, to get your mortgage, or to go and get, um, you know, Vanguard, or, you know, all this type of stuff. They'll look after your finances for you. So I went in to have a look at this, this company here. Um, they have Jack Daniels. They do all of this. They're worth a lot of money, hell of a lot of money. Um, and then you get to here, Brown Foreman, that's the name of the company. So you go here and you go and check them up. There it is there. They're, they're, that's just their trademark. They're actually, their trading name is Brown Foreman. So you look as to who is Brown Foreman. And it tells you here who they are, tells you who they've got. Um, so um, they have Glen Fittich. Um, look at all these alcohol, um, how much they're worth. Wow, 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 wow. Look at all that. And you can understand why they're so advertised here on YouTube here in Australia. And then you go down here. Oh, okay. Um, um, how much is it all worth? Um, well, how much, how much are they worth? Um, well, there, just the Jack Daniels part. Um, doesn't really tell you. Um, then we talk about here how much they're worth. Um, a couple of billion dollars and then you go to oh who's the largest shareholder oh believe it or not Vanguard there you go I knew it you know that's the only reason they're pushing it is because Vanguard is making money off it everything they touch every time you see something advertised on YouTube check to see who owns it and who's the major shareholder in it and you'll find out it's either BlackRock or Vanguard mm. So don't buy any of their rubbish and look at all of the, the alcohols that they have in their brand. Mm. Look at it all. Jack Daniels. Mm. Chambard. That's an old one. Mm. So don't buy Jack Daniels and don't buy this Woodford Reserve don't buy any of this because all you're doing is giving your money directly to Vanguard. There we go. Hmm. Unbelievable. But anyway, check all this stuff out. If you don't believe me, check it out. It's crazy. And they've got their own thing here in Australia. There you go. Net income, nearly a billion dollars. It's Saturday. No. Whether Adrian is too impure a vessel to inherit the full powers of his true father. Whether he can prove to him that evil is dominant within him. Actually, it has its roots in quite a primitive ceremony. The boy must be blooded in an act of violence before the tribe accepts his full manhood. Look, uh, Roman, uh, I, can't get, I, I just can't get involved in all this. Do you need to be reminded how involved you already are? <laughs> well, I mean, don't get me wrong, Roman. I mean, you know me. If, uh, if I have to be there, I will. Yes. Yes, I know you. And I know you'll be there. <sighs> what happens to Adrian if, if none of this takes? Given your delicate sensitivities, Guy, I'm not sure you really want to know. You missed the midnight set. Hold your room. More nightmares. Oh. Get help. Where? There are places. You back to your Jesus freak then? Ready to try?
Come on. We got an hour. Let's split, huh? Peter the Redeemer. Ah, no, 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 no. Peter the uh, fisherman. 